Hey guys, it's Shonda the Rat, and for today's video, I wanted to talk about something that happened to my rat donut here a few days ago, and that is that she had an allergic reaction to some food. So this is a situation I have never been in before, and it really freaked me out. Uh, thankfully, nothing bad happened long term, and donut is just fine, but it was definitely something that I have no experience with. Uh, and something that just hasn't really occurred to me before to be concerned about, even though obviously I know rats can have reactions to food just like we can. Um, but it was just never something I, I really considered because I've given my rats so many different kinds of food and I never had any rat have any sort of bad reaction to any of them. But anyways, basically what happened was that I had gotten some bones from a Indian place uh, and my dad in particular who likes to eat meat got some chicken and he got a very mild sauce. So I wasn't worried about the sauce upsetting the rat's stomach, uh, and I ended up washing the bones too, just in case, because I always do that, not to get rid of all the sauce because I think it's gonna hurt them, but more because the sauces tend to have a lot of sodium in them, and the rats don't need all that sodium. Uh, but anyways, after my dad finished eating his chicken, he gave me the bones to give to the rats, and I washed them off and did just that. And I gave them to the rats in the evening after they had done their playtime, so while they were pretty excited for them, they didn't eat a lot of the bone because they just weren't really hungry, because they do a lot of training at playtime, and that that means they get a lot of treats. Uh, but anyways, they seem completely fine with the bones. The little bit they ate did not seem to bother them. And I came in in the morning and they also seemed to be completely fine. Uh, all the rats were doing well and the bones had been partially chewed. So fast forward to that evening when I came to give Donut her medication. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know, Donut here has a pituitary gland tumor, which is a type of brain tumor. She's on three different medications for it, and it keeps her completely stable. She has a completely normal quality of life, and honestly, other than the hair loss, which is due to the medication, uh, and her, well, having medication daily, you really wouldn't know that she has anything going on because she's just been completely normal in every other way uh, ever since starting her meds. But I don't think it has anything to do with this reaction. I'm just mentioning it now because that's kind of why I was downstairs in the evening with the rats. I was giving her her medication. Uh, so I gave her her medication. And after that, I decided to just do some work downstairs on my computer next to the rat cage. And after about an hour, I heard one of the rats chewing on a bone in the cage. So I went to check them out. And I found that Donut was chewing on a bone under a tissue box in the dig box in their cage. And that's completely normal, you know, chewing on the bones is what they're supposed to do. I should mention at this point that it is completely safe to give rats bones, both raw and cooked. And that's because they grind up bones when they chew on them. So this is not some issue with the bone itself. But anyways, like I said, I went to the cage and saw Donut chewing on the bones. And Donut came to greet me. But one thing I noticed immediately was that her face was swollen. So that immediately freaked me out because I have never seen my rat's face swell up like that before. And so my first thoughts were that she either had some sort of allergic reaction or she had some sort of abscess pop up. Because I couldn't think of anything else that would swell up her face so quickly. And because the swelling was on both sides, I thought that it was probably a reaction rather than a abscess. I mean, that would be a very rare situation for two abscesses to pop up right across from each other on a rat's face. So I was leaning more towards reaction. And at that point, my biggest worry was that the swelling was going to block her airway and she was going to suffocate. So I was pretty freaked out about that. And unfortunately, this was 7 p.m. on Valentine's Day night. So really not a great moment. I couldn't go to my vets because my regular vet does not do emergency hours and they had already closed and the one option I did have was a general vet clinic that I've gone to before and that I've also kind of talked about as being a bad place to go for rats because unfortunately they just don't know anything about rats uh, and most they can throw antibiotics at things and hope that it works. So not exactly great for this sort of situation. But they do have access to an oxygen tank and a nebulizer and you know stuff to put in the nebulizer and then they also have access to steroid shots, so that could help in a situation like this. But they are still 15 minutes away, and in all likelihood, they wouldn't really want to do anything uh, because they are very conservative about what they treat in rats. So not really uh, my favorite place to go, honestly. I just don't really like how they treat rats there. But anyways, because of all that, and because Donut did not seem to be getting worse once I removed the bone, I decided to not go to the vet and just decided to monitor her and give her some medications that I thought could help her at home. So I decided to give her some prednisone, which is a powerful anti-inflammatory. It's a steroid. She's on oral prednisone for her brain tumor and she gets one dose a day, but she can have a second dose if something pops up. Uh, that's exactly what my vet told me. She was actually initially 
initially on two doses, but she did so well on it that she was actually able to go down to one dose a day. But giving her two doses is completely safe. And because of that, I decided to give her a second dose just in case it could help with any inflammation going on. Of course, the downside to giving something orally is that it does take longer to take effect than something that's given in injectable form. Uh, but, you know, that's what I had. So I went ahead and gave her a dose of that. Now, if I didn't have prednisone, I would have given her infant Mortrin, which is also a anti-inflammatory and it's an over-the-counter one. It is a lot less strong than prednisone is. And on top of that, it also can't be given with prednisone. Uh, Non-steroid anti-inflammatories like meloxicam or Mortrin can't be given with any sort of steroid. And in Donut's case, she's been on prednisone for several months. So, you know, she couldn't have any sort of non-steroid anti-inflammatory. So that was out. So that's why I gave her the second dose of Pred to hopefully reduce any inflammation. And then I also gave her a dose of Benadryl following the guide on the Rat Health Guide page. I only had the adult version, unfortunately, so the pill version, but I was able to go ahead and grind it up and add it to some water. And after that, I was able to appropriately dose donut. She was not a fan of the bitter taste, but she did take it no problem. And after that, I popped her into my travel cage and I just monitored her for the next hour and a half. Uh, thankfully, her swelling did start to go down after about 45 minutes to an hour. It did not get worse at all after I removed the bone. Uh, so I am kind of inclined to think that it was the sauce on the bone that triggered this in the first place. Um, but anyways, like I said, Donut did not get worse and she did start getting better after that short time period. So I don't know if it was the medications kicking in or if she had just been away from the allergen for long enough. Um, because she had a pretty mild reaction, all things considered. Uh, so I don't know exactly what caused her to return to normal, but hopefully the Benadryl and prednisone did help. I know at least they didn't hurt, uh, and it did make me feel a little better to be doing something. Donut herself was completely unbothered the entire time. I did notice the first time that when I picked her up that she was wheezing a bit as she was breathing. It was that grunting pigeon-like noise that rats do when their upper respiratory is inflamed. Uh, so that was pretty concerning to me because Donut herself has always been perfect respiratory-wise. She's never grunted or shown any sort of allergies, so that did concern me quite a bit because it just made me think that, oh my god, are her airways closing up? Is she not going to be able to breathe? What can I do here? Uh, but thankfully, nothing like that happened and Donut ended up being completely fine. And once I put her into the travel cage after giving her some meds, uh, she seemed to calm down some and the wheezing went away as she calmed down. So I think it's just the fact that she was so excited to come out of the cage combined with the inflammation that was going on that caused her to make that sort of wheezing cooing noise uh, but thankfully it didn't get worse and she improved pretty quickly after that so all is well that ends well so to speak uh, donut herself was not bothered at all by the experience i think i was way more freaked out than she was but i am so glad that the story ended up having a happy ending and that donut is doing just fine so yeah, that's pretty much the entire story. I will probably show you the clip and pictures that I took during the whole experience. Overall, nothing really happened and I'm very glad about that. Uh, but still, I thought I'd talk about it some because it really freaked me out and it's a situation I've never really thought of. Of course, Donut will not be getting any more food from that place and I will not be giving any of the rats any food from that place just in case. I will continue to give them chicken bones, including Donut, because I'm very sure that the chicken bone itself was not the problem um, because she has had chicken bones many, many times, including just a few days before she had this chicken bone. So yeah, that was just a bit of a learning experience on my part, just kind of learning that, yeah, rats can sometimes react to things like that. I mean, I knew it intellectually, but I really didn't know it on a... I mean, I technically knew that they could, but I just never really thought about it being a problem. And I'm very glad that things ended up turning out so well and that Donut is doing fine. She really likes to drive up my anxiety by continuing to get into different health predicaments. So I'm just very happy to see her continuing to do very well, uh, despite all these things happening to her. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, and I will see you guys next time. And here's hoping that Miss Donut here will give me a break. Please, Donut, please, I can't take it. Uh, okay, I will see you guys later. Bye!